hello welcome to shake the nations online gospel message god bless you everybody greetings from portsmouth uk thank you for hearing the word of god every day please share these videos whenever you are sharing you are also doing the gospel work praise the lord hallelujah my name is pastor jody lasson um we have a church in london and portsmouth and all the places praise the lord two three places in uk please pray for us pray for me and pray for our church members share this gospel everybody including sister chalini you are not you are not sharing share this gospel <laughs> praise the lord thank you for joining okay thank you and um, we can pray for, i am very sure when i am praying this gospel message will come and heal you if any of the prayer request either you can send to the comment box or you can send to the messenger we will pray for you live we will pray for you praise the lord hallelujah i am going to pray right now heavenly father in the name of jesus christ i pray for everybody the people those who are hearing gospel father do the healing and miracle healing in their life let them receive the presence and anointing from you the holy spirit in jesus name i pray amen praise the lord just i want to share this gospel so that i am taking 5 minute time to sing a song during that time i can share this gospel i want to encourage to all of you share in your timeline and share this gospel in all your groups okay we can share five minutes let this gospel spread to all the people we can sing a song bless the lord nice song praise the lord bless the lord oh my soul oh my soul worship his soul in me sing like me was before oh my soul worship your holy name everybody sing a song sun comes up it's a new day dawning it's time to begin what ever may pass and what ever lies before me me be singing when the evening comes the lord of my soul oh my soul and keep the soul in me let me never be for Oh my soul I seek your holy name Reaching love and your slow to And this is the nature of God Your name is great And your heart is kind For all your goodness I will keep on singing thousand reasons for my heart to bless oh my god my lord is so amazing so bless your holy that day when my friend is failing and draws near and my time has come still my soul sing your praise unending ten thousand years and forever more
Shout to the Lord. One more song we can sing. There is no much lighting here. Let me check up. There is no much lighting. Let me check up. Everybody sing a song. I'll tell for a prayer if you just stand. Let her be all the day young. Our sister worship if you the Lord all the earth let us sing. Run majestic praise to the King. Men bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the words of your hand. Forever I love you, forever I stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just and check the lighting. He says, My Savior, there is no is no like you. My days, learn to praise. Day for your mind, I love everybody. Man, I come for. Your, your name. 
asking for joy at the words of your hand. Hey, where I stand, nothing can be to the promise I you. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Welcome Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill us with your power. Live inside of me. Welcome Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill us with your power. Live inside of me. You are living water. Never die in fountain. Comforter and counselor. Take complete control. You are living water. Never die in fountain. Comforter and counselor. Take complete control. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill us with your power. Live inside of me. Live inside of me. Live inside of me. There is power. In the name of Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Today, just I'm going to read, going to preach today. I'm very sure whatever I'm preaching today, little bit more lighting today. Lighting is a little bit of problem. <laughs> Let me close the light. Okay, thank you very much. Light is coming to my face. So I cannot preach the gospel. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So, thank you very much, Sister Shalini. Those who are watching online, God bless you. Everybody. Join first time. And every day I am happy to preach the 6.30. 6.30 to 7.30 or 5 minutes more I will take it. That's all. Okay. And every, every... Every day I would like to preach accordingly. Little bit. Arrange the camera. So that you can sit properly. Now it's all right. So. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching online everybody. It's uh, Mavin Anthony. God bless you. Stephens. God bless you. Vimas. God bless you. Bridget Thoms. God bless you. Sharja. God bless you. Betsy Sam. God bless you. Praveen Joseph. God bless you. Uh, Bridget, God bless you. Stella, God bless you. Betty, Susan, God bless you. Uh, Robert, Matthew, God bless you. Gladson, God bless you. Stephanie, God bless you. God bless you. Lots of people join. Okay. Share this video. Whenever you are sharing, you will get a more. Um, you are also doing. More means you are also doing uh, God's work. Okay. Whenever you are sharing this gospel. So, I want to encourage it to all of you. Always share this gospel. Praise the Lord. Share, share. Now, such a child is sharing. <laughs> I think you forgot to share last time. <laughs> when I look at the prophet, there's no sharing at all. Thank you very much. Okay, no, it doesn't matter. Okay. That um, everybody, if anybody's mind, if God is saying, share it, not no problem. Okay, don't share it. Okay. Just I'm saying like that. The more you share, the more people will receive the word of God. Sometimes, this all this word of God, sometimes you know. There are some people there doesn't know that one. They don't know anything about that. When they are hearing, sometimes today I am preaching only for them, not for you. 
only for the people those who are in your group or in your facebook or in your twitter in your instagram praise lord i am preaching for somebody i don't know only holy spirit knows that word praise lord <laughs> hallelujah glory be to god thank you very much i got a testimony today but i'm not saying today i will say all together one day <laughs> my testimony <laughs> Today God did a miracle for me. Praise the Lord. Every day God is doing a miracle. Today, today God did a miracle for me. Praise the Lord. So I have a testimony today. I hope everybody is having a testimony. Because we, if we are the child of God, we will get a testimony every day. Praise the Lord. Every day, in all the day, in the days of your life, we will get a testimony. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, I am very glad to say today, today I got a big testimony, but I will say later on. I said, I opened my house, I I was saying this testimony, I was praising to God. So, today, publicly I will say, within a short time, praise the Lord, hallelujah, glory be to God, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Today, I want to um, say to you today, If any of the prayer request, as I said, you can type and send the comment box or you can send it uh, in the messenger. Then I will pray for you. As a pastor, I will pray for you. Praise the Lord. Prayer is powerful. Whoever is praying doesn't matter. Prayer, prayer is so powerful. Okay. Whenever I am praying, I will take my authority. I have faith in God. So I will pray. God will heal. Praise the Lord. We should have the nature of today's talk. We should have the nature of Jesus Christ. Our Heavenly Father created you and me in Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. We are formed through Jesus Christ. We are like Jesus Christ. We are the image of God. Praise the Lord. In short, I can say we are the image of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So today, I want to say to you, if you are the image of God, we should have the nature like what our God was having. Praise the Lord. The same nature, we should have it. That's what First Peter chapter 4, verses 1 says. Can everybody put? Sister Chalne, can you put? First Peter chapter 4, verses 1. In this Bible says, Therefore, since Christ suffered for us in the flesh, um, yourself also in the same mind. For he who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Praise Lord. We should have the same nature of Jesus Christ. Same habits of Jesus Christ we have to follow. Uh, same habit and nature of Jesus Christ means you will, first of all you have to think you will not get the nature of Jesus Christ by yourself. You cannot make it. This everything you are getting, this is a package you are getting when the time when you are born again and baptized. This package you are getting through Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, when you can come to know you, are, you have got this package, when you are getting the maturity, in Christ. Maturity. How we are getting the maturity in Christ? We will get a maturity by hearing this word of God, by reading this Bible. Praise the Lord. When you are making more, when you are making more time with our Heavenly Father, spending more time with our Heavenly Father, that time we will get this kind of maturity in Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So today, I want to say to all of you, we all should have this kind of maturity in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what Jesus Christ died for our sins and he is risen only to get you and me the maturity. You want to be like God. Praise the Lord. Sister Shalini, can you put it? First Peter chapter 4 verses 1. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Whatever, whenever you are getting this maturity, 
that time what he had to think it our god should glorify in you and in me always the person those who have those who have got the maturity in christ jesus our god can say he is a matured person how our god can say pastor jolly lastly is a matured person thank you shishali how god can say such a child is a matured woman of god the reason is whenever you are standing for god whenever you are doing the god's work in all your place you have to glorify god not glorify not praise of your work by yourself you have to glorify the people should glorify god instead of our people are surrounded standing surrounding of you you got my point i am preaching the gospel in the church and outside instead of glorifying our god the people when they are hearing the word of god when they were hearing the word of god if they are coming and saying oh pastor you preaching what uh, preaching is good that is saying that they are saying that is correct but the more praise is coming the more you did that miracle oh you prayed that miracle no i prayed you prayed the miracle did by jesus christ we have to give all the glory all the praise to jesus christ always any other man of god any other women of god if you are preaching gospel glorify should go to god it should not come to you if anybody is praising you more that means they are not praising glorifying god right we had as a normal person you had to say preaching was good if you are knowing preaching hey, god bless you our god is mightier god that's a good way then you had to say oh bumla god your preaching was good oh so comparing other pastor your preaching is we are preaching pastor is so nice no this is not according to the will of god what is the problem of that pastor that is the problem of this sister that is the problem of that man of god what is the problem of this evangelist all are taking the name in their tongue that name is jesus christ name praise the lord maybe they are weakness today they are in weak you have got the strength doesn't matter either weak or strength either the weak people or the people are having the strength strength either the people are or or the people are having the maturity or the or some other people are not having the maturity doesn't matter if anybody is taking jesus name jesus name will get glorified praise the lord hallelujah can everybody give wonderful clap to god today if i am preaching the gospel today i cannot i cannot say oh this is my effort or this is my effort no i don't want to say anything sometimes i am not preparing today i didn't prepare to preach the gospel it's just i am reading 10 or 15 minutes before just a bible i just i am reading then i standing in front of you if our god i know to whom i am believing today always in all the time the before that one year before i was prepare, preaching preparing very well but even when i am preparing i cannot able to i could not able to preach much but these days i was not preparing even today i didn't prepare only little bit just i was reading the bible one chapter two chapter the revelation which our holy spirit gave to me i'm sharing you that means i am standing here is not by my effort i am standing here i stand here today by the by the grace of jesus christ praise the lord hallelujah if i am not getting any words to talk from my mouth today i will stop it i will not go ahead because i don't want to preach in the flesh i want to preach by spirit by the revelation of holy spirit praise the lord hallelujah everybody raise your hand and say hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah glory be to god praise the lord hallelujah so that bible says the first peter chapter 4 verses 11 says if anyone speaks let him speak as the oracle of god oracles of god if anyone 
ministers let him do it as with the ability which our god supplies that is what i was talking right now that in all things god may be glorified through jesus christ praise lord to whom belong the glory and the dominion forever and ever amen praise the lord hallelujah all the glory all the dominion everything should be belongs to jesus christ it is belongs to jesus christ and always it has to be praise the lord hallelujah glory be to god hallelujah so what whatever you are doing whatever you are doing everything in all the time before you preach that's what before i preach i will pray to say um, holy spirit oh holy spirit help me today i don't know how to preach anything please help me everything i don't know how to preach lead me that is some days i am getting the pushing to preach go ahead even 1 hour 1 hour 30 minutes minimum every day i am getting pushing i am getting inspiration from my heart say 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 this what said even though i was keeping my timing today also i will keep my timing right so 1 hour only maximum i'll preach i won't preach more praise the lord 7:30 i will finish it maximum 7:30 35 praise the lord hallelujah i won't preach much uh, because what i am preaching everybody should receive in your heart that this is very very important one praise the lord uh, next day the coming day i will preach the continuation where i have stopped today where i have finished today from here i will stop tomorrow i will start tomorrow praise the lord Hallelujah! So that each and everything, our uh, we have to glorify God. Then only our God will glorify you. The more you you are giving the praise and glory to God, the more our God will raise you up. Praise the Lord! This is our all the men of God. I have seen the Pastor Rengard Ray, Bongi, Billy Graham. I was uh, hearing their gospel. Uh, they have uh, how they have, they were sharing the gospel. Always they were sharing. They were giving. full holy and honor praise the lord glory and honor to jesus christ not the man of god if anybody is not like that if any of the pastors any of the preachers are not doing like that they are not glorifying you people are uh, lots of people are surrounding of them so people will stand surrounding so man of god but only people want to stand in front of the man of god any of the pastor to get something from jesus christ they have to say oh jesus if man of god is praying if man of god is praying for me i will get healing so i am standing in this man of god this man of god will be an instrument instrument praise the lord hallelujah it should be like that everybody after you when you prayed after healing somebody okay there when anybody is offering money you take it man of god you prayed don't take it we don't take anybody's money those who are watching online if anybody is praying if you are praying to somebody okay if they are offering some money you don't take it prayer and healing is free praise the lord if they want let them give your ministry or give, let them give some other god's work not for your prayer prayer is free Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Raise your hand and say hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Then Bible says That is what Apostle Paul said. He was always preaching by the revelation of Holy Spirit. Even though he didn't get any of the credibility in that. He was giving the praise and honor of Jesus Christ everything. he was saying this revelation is not from my effort but this is from jesus christ that is what first corinthians chapter 2 verses 4 says and my speech and my preaching were not with the persuasive words of human wisdom that is what apostle paul said it is not coming from my wisdom the preaching the, the gospel which i am praying which i am preaching today i am healing the sick people and spread the salvation it is not coming from my heart it is not by my my own effort it is not coming by my own wisdom 
but this is coming from directly but this is this but in demonstration of the spirit and power the spirit which is there in my heart this power of the spirit is doing the demonstration in me this power of spirit is taking me to in front of everybody and showing the powerful name of jesus christ through me to everybody Praise the Lord. This mentality in all the preachers should show. Not only the pastors, in all the churches, all the priests, all the bishops, all the fathers, all the brothers, sisters, everybody. We all, we should preach the gospel according the, it should be in demonstration of the spirit and power. Praise the Lord. Today I am preaching the gospel. This is also in demonstration of the spirit and power. Demonstration of the spirit and power. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the revelation of the Holy Spirit. All the glory and honor. It will go to. Let it go to the God. Not for me. Or not for anybody. Best of all. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The more you praise to God. The more our God will raise you. The more you are humbled in front of God, the more our God will give the revelations. Revelations. Praise the Lord. The more you are you are being the simple simplicity, that means you should be humble and simple. Humble and simple means uh, not wearing a proper dress. It is not like that. We have to wear the decent way. When we are preaching the gospel, we have to wear, even though the pre preacher, I don't know, Sister Charlie, you are. How you are pre preparing to hear this word of God in your house? Or if, you, if you are hearing this word of God, anybody is hearing this word of God, we have to, how we are going to the church, the same way we have to prepare ourselves. We have to pr put a new dress. Praise the Lord. In all the ways, you have to sit in a decent way. Chair also, you have to clean it. The place you are sitting, you have to clean it. If you are going to church, you will clean it. You will clean it. I will do it. As a church pastor, I know. I will come a little bit early. Okay. 30 minutes, one hour before I will come to the church. What I will go to do? I was doing. I will clean the church. Praise the Lord. Arrange the chair. Mic sets. And everything. I will arrange my myself. If it is a wind, um, uh, uh, summer time, then I will, uh, I will come in a one more t-shirt in the church one hour before because it will get wet. My suit and tie and everything, coat and everything, I will put in the car. When I finish everything, I will get wet. Praise the Lord. What I will go to do it? I will wash my hand and everything. I will change my dress. I will put my proper dress in the shirt. Um, suit and coat and I will wear and I will come to the church. When people are coming, I am ready. I was doing like that. <laughs> the first time I'm saying, praise <laughs> the Lord. But some people, sometimes Sister Charlene also came and helped me that one. Uh, people are coming early time. And some church members came and they were helping me. But I was not saying, praise the Lord. I was always doing by myself. Because I know each and everything, whatever I am doing, I am doing for God. It is not doing by myself. We can praise the Lord. Shida Takana, Birati Taka, Ladi Dagana, Shichacha, Shanta Kanatani, Ruda Tapatakana, Tarekala to Jichacha, Tapatakana, Dirati Dagani, Shita Tapatakana, Dirati Chacha. Anybody suffering, feeling tired today? I'm, I'm feeling that one. Okay, people are feeling, some people are facing the tired in your mind. You cannot hear the word of God. That means you cannot be able to sit in your chair right now. You are in that condition. And declaring in the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit of um, uh, the weakness, the, the, the spirit of weakness, that means the spirit of giving, the spirit of uh, uh, depressions, uh, the spirit of the anxiety in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, I cast out. Go out right now. Now we are getting strength, okay? When we are hearing the gospel, our mind should be fresh, okay? All the time our mind you have to prepare the fresh mind. We have to focus always the word of God. Please don't focus some other things. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. What I'm going to do? That is what Bible is according to Apostle Paul says. First Corinthians chapter 2 verses 4 says, He was preaching the gospel. It was not according to his wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and power. And First Corinthians chapter 2 verses 5 says, That your faith should not be in the wisdom of man, but in the power of Lord. Praise the Lord. Our, whatever we are doing, it should be, it will, it is under the power of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today I am very glad to God. Wherever I am preaching, even though my body and mind is tired, when I start to preach the gospel, that time what will happen? The power of the God automatically it was leading me. Praise the Lord. It will lead me. According to this power and revelation, I will get an authority to preach the gospel that time. I will get an inspiration to preach the gospel. So whenever I was preaching gospel, you can see my videos. It will ne never get stopped. It is non-stop. Sometimes if, even, even if I, I, I was not getting the words to preach, immediately the next words, the Spirit of God, it was He was giving, the Spirit of God was giving in my tongue. So that I was Preaching the gospel, one hour, two hour like that. It is non-stop. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because this all this gospel, it was preaching by the power of the Lord. Because all the gospel written by the power and revelation of God. Why we can preach all the gospel by the power of the Lord? Because this all the gospel, all the Bible words, of the, all the chapters of the Bible, it was written by, it is written by, by the revelation of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is what, if you are standing in the power of the Lord, we should have, we should enjoy in Christ Jesus always. Because we don't know tomorrow what you should preach, what we have to do it. If you are the children of God, we know one thing, we will walk to the hope. We will walk to the destination. We will walk to the correct, in the correct place because our God is providing us a good uh, destination in our life. Praise the Lord. Our God will always provide us the exact place where you want to supposed to reach the exact place. Sometimes somebody is here or you are thinking you don't have a job. People are thinking I don't want visa. I don't have any papers. In different countries people are thinking that our God has a plan about you and me. You will reach indeed I am saying one more time you will reach the 100% the clear destination. The destination is you will not go away from here. Wherever you are touched with your feet that place is will be yours. This is the promise of Abraham. This promise which our, our God gave to Abraham, the wherever you are standing, that place I will give it to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because we all are the heirs of Jesus Christ. Heirs or partakers um, in the heaven. What all the blessings which our God gave to in the Old Testament, the same, all the promises we are getting, we are the partakers, um, the joint heirs in Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what Bible says. Um, First Peter chapter 4 verse 13 says, But rejoice to the extent that you partake of Christ's suffering. We are the partakers of Christ's blessings. What all the blessings are promises our Heavenly Father gave to Moses. This all the promises are blessings. All the promises and blessings we are getting through Christ Jesus. Because we are the partakers of Christ Jesus. Partakers in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's what, that is what Bible says. But rejoice today to the extent First Peter chapter 4 verse 13 But rejoice 
to the extent that you partake of God's of Christ's suffering that when his glory is revealed you may also be glad with exceeding joy when our god is coming with the full of glory in this earth you will also you will also get a transformation in that glory from your human body you will get a spiritual from a, from a human body to from your flesh to the spiritual transformation the same almost the same transformation like jesus christ did his first miracle at cana cana's wedding that time water there was a transformation from the water to the wine we are getting a transformation from our mortal body from our flesh to the spirit of god to the glory of the lord we are getting a transformation praise the lord that is what apostle paul said first peter chapter 3 for chapter 4 verse 3 says but rejoice to the extent that you partake of Christ's sufferings that when his glory is revealed you may also be glad with exceeding joy praise the lord hallelujah so what all the sufferings you are facing today maybe you are thinking you i could not have uh, you don't have proper job praise the lord in this lockdown period you are totally tired if you are thinking like that according to the bible i can say you if you are taking that suffering as you was in jesus christ in all the prosecutions all the sufferings all the negative thoughts all the attacks which you are getting by your enemies our god will fight for you that is correct but we are submitting everything in front of god bible says bible says that when his when his glory is revealed you may be you may also be glad with exceeding joy because your suffering is nothing all your suffering is nothing today which you are facing today you are you are living in this world this is a so- shortest life your suffering is nothing you will get a glory for life with a transformation in the glory of the lord when the time of second coming of jesus christ praise the lord hallelujah this is what is going to happen praise the lord that is what bible says first peter chapter 4 verse 14 says if you are reproached for the name of christ if you are reproached blessed are you for the spirit of god and of god rest upon you blessed are you you are the blessed person you are the blessed person praise the lord hallelujah blessed are you praise the lord hallelujah glory be to god hallelujah hallelujah we can praise to lord we can give thanks to lord praise the lord hallelujah glory be to god glory be to god glory be to god hallelujah glory be to god if you are reproached for the name of christ blessed are you for the spirit of glory and of god rest upon you praise the lord that means bible already said if you are facing any of the sufferings you are not facing the sufferings by yourself you are facing the sufferings with jesus christ jesus christ has already suffered what you are suffering today in this world he already gone through went through wherever you are going through today that way jesus christ already went gone through in calvary praise the lord because what all the prosecutions or rejections isolations which you are facing today in the name sake of jesus christ bible says you are not alone 
you are facing this prosecution with Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. If you are reproached of the name of Christ, blessed are you for the spirit of glory and God rest upon you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that we have to rejoice in that because the God, the, the one who is in your heart, he will give you the ability and power to overcome, to resist everything in your life. So, little children, the people those are watching online, we rejoice always. Always, I say to rejoice. The reason is, if you are prosecuting today, you will not get perish. If they are trying to destroy you today, you are not going to die. Because the one who is in you is greater than everything in this world. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God. So then, the lots of tribulations which you are facing today, you will come out to the, into the glory of the Lord. Praise the Lord at the earliest time. Not only um, when Jesus Christ's second comings, you will get the glory. But in this present world, wherever you are, you will get the glory in Jesus Christ. You will get a success in all your areas of your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That is what Bible says. First Peter chapter 4 verse 16 says. Thank you, Mr. Charlie. First Peter chapter 4 verse 16 says, Yet, if anyone suffers as a Christian, if you are suffering as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in this matter. If you are suffering as a Christian in front of Muslims, in front of the Gentiles, in front of the Hindus, in front of any of the religious people. The reason because of sharing this word of God. Rejoice. Bible says rejoice. What I am saying, uh, my uh, company's website, okay, I have a little bit more food today. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> so that I have a little bit water. <laughs> so that, Every day, uh, evening, I will have a little bit, okay. So, a little bit more I had. Lunch, I had a little bit, take a little bit late today. That is what, that is what. Is what. Sitting in the house. Uh, uh, so, I want to say, today, First Peter chapter 4, verse 16 says, Yet, if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in this matter. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Again, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17 says, For the time has come for the of judgment to begin at the house of God. Before that, I want to explain. Okay, the Spirit of God is pushing me. Explain this part one more time because the people are not clear. The 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 16. I want to read one more time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yet, if anyone suffers as a Christian, this I want to explain. I'm getting inspiration from God to explain one more time. Praise the Lord. Yet, if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. So, the Spirit of God is pushing me to explain one more time this part. Praise the Lord. So, I want to explain one more time. I want to explain one of my examples. As I said, when I was preaching the gospel in the street, that time I was preaching the gospel in the street, the two years before and one year before, I start to preach the gospel in the Portsmouth city center. From here I was traveling to different, different cities, one by one, all the cities, Birmingham, Manchester, Bristol, Cardiff, and um, um, Cardiff, Liverpool, Sheffield, Manchester, I already said, Bournemouth, Chichester, London, Stanford, Tabangas Corway, the London in front of British Parliament, praise the Lord, House of Commons, praise the Lord, Portsmouth, I already said, 
and here in Croydon many times, Mitcham, praise the Lord, and um, Taunton Heath, in Croydon, different, different cities, even small, small villages also went to preach the gospel. Taunton Heath and um, Sutton, praise the Lord. In the Mitcham, when I was preaching the gospel, a small city center, when I was preaching the gospel, somebody came and pushed my iPad. It was broken, praise the Lord, hallelujah. But I got the money to repair, praise the Lord, and I am from the different people, praise the Lord. So that whenever we are getting the prosecution, any of the rejections from the where you are at present, I want to say in Christ Jesus 100% I can say to you, in either through him or through somebody, our God will help you. Because our God will make you, make you, make you. You have to rejoice. Make you to rejoice in God. Our God doesn't want. Our God wants you are always being. And always you are uh, suffering. Always you are in that um, the thinking, um, the difficulty, that something which, which something is coming against your life. Always you are thinking about that. The situations are coming against your life. Always you are thinking and you are spoiling. You are spending more time. Always in that our God doesn't want you to do like that. Always. The will of God. All the children of God. They should rejoice in Christ Jesus. Not always, not all the times. That is what Apostle Paul says. Rejoice. Again I say rejoice. That is what. Only the children of God can rejoice in this world. No any other person can rejoice. The world people, the business people, always they will be tired. They will be upset. What will happen tomorrow's business? The lockdown happened. My business is spoiled. How will I manage my company? How it will come a stock and everything? No more profit. But in, if you are the children of God, in the midst of that, our God will do something for me. Doesn't matter today, if I am getting everything, if I am losing today, tomorrow I have a hope. Because I am walking by the power of the Lord. I am walking by not by the wisdom of myself. I am walking, I am walking with the power and wisdom and glory of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. If you are walking by the uh, wisdom of Jesus Christ, if you are walking by the power of Jesus Christ, I know one thing. According to the Bible, I can say to you, our God can do a creative miracle. Wherever you go, you will get a revelation. Wherever you are walking, you will get a knowledge how to do it, how you should not, what you should not do, what you should do it. This guidance, the Spirit of God can provide you always. Right, Lord? This is what Apostle Paul, when he was preaching gospel, one day he was in Samaria, other day he was in Judea. The day after, um, the other day, he was preaching in Jerusalem. The Spirit of God was leading him. Prosecution doesn't matter. Rejections doesn't matter. He was not taking care of this kind of things. He was taking care of how many people are getting saved. How many people are coming to Jesus Christ. Whether I am preaching this gospel or not doesn't matter. Because of my preaching, the people, those who are hearing the gospel, will they receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior? Are they receiving Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior? If they are receiving, if they are taking, I can say, Apostle Paul is saying, I can say, Apostle Peter is saying, I can say, I am preaching by the power of the Holy Spirit. Indeed, Apostle Paul already said, I am preaching the gospel by the power of the Lord. Whenever anybody is having the, whenever, whenever anybody is thinking about their sins, if anybody is thinking about their sins, oh, I want to repent today. I don't want to go forward. If you are thinking like that, 
if anybody is thinking like that, according to your word of God, according to my word of God, I can say the word of God which I was preaching yesterday, today, and last month, last year, this word of God, it was not by Pastor Jolie Lass's efforts. But the, the, this word of God, I was preaching by the revelation and power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. This is what. How many number of people are receiving the salvation? You will not care. Dear brother, dear sister, if you are doing something for God, this everything belongs to God. Your duty is, you are the instrument of God. Hold this Bible, hold this power and walk wherever you are. The place where you are touching your feet, that place, that place will be blessed. They will get blessings because it's not by your power. This is by the power of the Holy Spirit. Take it. Praise the Lord. As I said already before, the disciples of Jesus Christ, they were performing the miracle, especially the Jerusalem temple. Acts chapter 3. Power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, I'm going to stop it very soon, okay? That is what the Bible says. What you have to do? We have to depend on God. Like Psalms verses 5 verses 11 says, but let all those who rejoice, who put their trust in you, let them ever shout up for joy. Let everyone, let all, but let all those who re rejoice, who put their trust in you, let them ever shout for joy because you defend them. Let those also who, who love your name, be joyful in you. The day, the time, the moment when you are putting your trust, when you are putting your confidence, when you are putting everything, whatever you are getting in this life, in your life, if you are surrendering, surrendering in front of God, like David, our God will give you one day to praise in front of everybody, our God will use in your, your tongue. That is what today I am blessed. I was blessed. I was not at all blessed, but today I am blessed because of the grace of God. You will get a reason. You will get an experience to testify. You will get an experience to witness in front of everybody. I was not at all blessed, but by believing in Jesus Christ, when I came to know Jesus Christ, when I was suffering, what all the things, when I was facing in my life, all the situations, all the persecution, I was surrendering in front of God. Because of this reason, all the persecutions, all the rejections, all the isolations, it has come in favor of me in all my life. You will get a time. Our God will give you a time to say in front of everybody. When you are saying like that, the promise of Abraham, which our God gave to Abraham, I will make become, uh, your name will become great. This is my promise. When you are witnessing God, when you are saying something about the Spirit of God, when you are saying the witnessing, when you are witnessing about the power of Jesus Christ, when you are saying about the miracle healing of Jesus Christ, whichever God has done in your life, automatically the surroundings will come to know who you are in Christ Jesus. The people will come to know your name. Your name will become great. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So, I want to say to all of you today, your work and your effort today, whatever you are doing today for God's work, I can say 100% as a man of God, 
as a pastor, today I can say to you, it will not get waste. You are sowing during the time of famine. This is a famine time. Like Isaac, he was sowing. We are going to reap within a short time, 100 fold, 200 fold, 500 fold, 1000 fold, 100,000 fold in a short time. Because in Jesus Christ's name's sake, you have suffered a lot. I want to say to some people today, I want to point out my hand, my finger to you. Not for all the people, but some people. Take it. You have suffered a lot of for me, for my name's sake. But you are, your glory is the highest. You are sowing in the famine time in front of everybody. But you are rejoicing in Christ Jesus with a hundredfold. We are going to reap hundredfold, two hundredfold, spiritually, physically, financially, in all the areas of your life. You are going to get it. Take it in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to reap it. That day you will rejoice. That day you will rejoice. You will praise the Lord according to Isaac. He said to everybody, I was sowing. The country, the people, they were not sowing because of famine time. It was a wilderness. The people, they were not having the hope. But I was having the hope because I born in the promises. I was in the promises. I am the promises. If you born in promises, you cannot go away. If the situations are against you, you cannot go away from there. You have to face it. You have to put your step forward. You have to walk forward. You have to run. What all the things you are doing in your, in your normal time? What all the things you are doing? More than accidentally and abundantly, you have to do it during the time of the famine time in your life. Bible says, if you are putting your faith, if you are sowing the spiritually, if you are sowing, if you are sharing the word of God, even this lockdown time, you are sharing the text message today. You are sharing this gospel today. You are hearing this gospel today. You are sowing during the famine time. But our God is saying, your fruit is going to come. You will witness the gospel in front of everybody. Wherever you are preaching the gospel, our God will perform the signs and wonders through your hand, not somebody's hand. Your name is going to become great, not somebody's name. Your name. Bible says, your name. You are the precious one of me. You are the holy generation. You are the royal priesthood. You are my special people. So your name. You are my seed. Abraham's seed. Your name. Sister Shalini. Your name, Pastor Jolly. Your name, Sister Lauren Mayer. Even, even the sister is not here today. I'm saying this famine time which you are sowing today, you are going to reap today, day after tomorrow. The people they were under the darkness. The people they were they were sitting during the time of the uh, they are in the point of the death. That time you are going to sow, you are going to you are going to reap. You are going to get an extra things, extraordinary things, extraordinary things in your life, spiritually, physically, and financially. Everything you are going to get it in your life. In your house, you will not be hungry. I can say to you, if you are the child of God, you will not feel hungry. You and your children will not get hungry in your life. If you are witnessing our God today, you will not be hungry. If Isaac, if he could, if he could get, if he could receive hundred folds, even even if he even, he even if he was sowing in the famine time, how much more you and me will get it? Because we are more than Isaac in this world. Isaac, he was. The servant of God, you and me all are the child of God. Praise the Lord. How much more you and me are getting the blessing from God today. 
I am saying in spirit 100% to all of you, to all the people. For Jesus Christ's name's sake, if you did, if you, if you prayed in your house, one minute, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, if you are reading Bible, tomorrow you will be witnessing our God, not only this United Kingdom, wherever you are out of this country, you are going to witness this word of God. In Jesus' name, I am prophesying you. Because this famine time, which you are sowing, you are going to reap after this lockdown period will get over. Take it in Jesus' name. I am prophesying in front of you. Even I, I will not shake the nation's ministry. I am going to jump in an extraordinary way. Shake the nation's go, ministry is going to flourish. Throughout the nations, the shake the nations ministry going to rise up the ministers and ministers, not only in this United Kingdom but throughout the nations. I'm seeing everything in my spirit because I'm sowing something during the time of famine. Every day I'm witnessing God. It is not my my effort. This is by the effort of Holy Spirit. I'm standing. In front of Holy Spirit as an instrument. I know because of this reason the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, the Heavenly Father, this Trinity are going to use me, the Shake the Nation ministry, not only me, this Shake the Nation's ministry for the second revival of Jesus Christ throughout the nations to the world. In this year of 2020, you all are going to see in your mind, in your eyes. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray for you right now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is what Bible says. One more Bible verse I want to say. Romans chapter 8 verses 31 says, So if the situations are coming against you, you can say today, If God is for, for us, who can be against us? If God is with me, who can be second, uh, separate me? If God is always be, hold his, my hand, who can reject me? No. Situations cannot reject me. Family members cannot reject me. The friends and colleagues cannot stop me to, to spread the gospel. The people, those who are watching online or in the world, they cannot prosecute me. They cannot tell me, you have to disconnect your relationship with God and me. Because if God is for us, who can be stand, who can be against us? Nobody can separate us. Nobody can separate us from the love of God. Praise the Lord. So, you are going to reap not only the hundredfold. Isaac, he was getting hundredfold. He was the servant of God. But today, we are the child of God. I am claiming that in the name of Jesus Christ, ten thousand fold. In Jesus' name. Multiplication. Hundred into hundred. How much? Shaitha Nation's ministry. I am going to get the souls. Shaitha Nation's ministry getting going to get the soul. Thousands and thousands of souls in future. Praise the Lord. We can pray to God. God bless you everybody. I am going to pray for you right now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. One more thing. He who did not spare his own son, but he delivered him for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things. We are much a precious person in front of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I was preaching nearly one hour time. One hour I was preaching gospel. As I said, I didn't prepare anything. My yesterday's talk, little bit, I just saw today, few minutes. And I was reading one chapter of Bible. After that I was standing in front of you. The Spirit of God was leading me. I know the things which I was talking today. This is by the revelation of Holy Spirit. Whoever has taken these revelations as yours, this prophecy has already came to you today. I am also saying Amen and receiving all the prophecy, all the word of God I said from my mouth. I don't know what I said. Only God knows. When I am watching my videos, I know what I said. Praise the Lord. This everything, whatever I said, I am also typing Amen and receiving Amen in Jesus Christ. The reason is, 
all this prophecy I need. I have taken a smile. If anybody want, you take it. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and only I, if I am taking amen, um, uh, amen, that time, the more and more blessings I will get from God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> I am going to pray for you right now. Praise the Lord. The sick people, lay your hand on your head. I am going to pray for you right now. Our God wants to heal you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sister Shalini, raise your hand. Okay. I don't know where Sister Laurie Mayer went. Okay. If anybody is interested, come. Um, uh, permanently, the people are watching online. Please watch online. Oh, this is a wonderful word of God. This wonderful service I am doing. Gospel service. Gospel message by the revelation of Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. I am going to pray for you right now. Raise your hand. Sister Shalini, raise. Okay. You are representing the church as a minister. Okay. Raise your hand with the Shaitan Nations, all the Shaitan Nations congregations members. The people are in the watching you online. Uh, they are not revealing they are the member, but you are the member I know. Praise the Lord. People are watching, join here through WhatsApp. Raise your hand right now. We can pray in one accord. So I want to deliver the healing from my tongue to everybody. If I am delivering something from my tongue, this everything, deliverance and everything, I am delivering something by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because I am not doing by anything by effort, by my own effort. I am doing everything by the effort, by the gift of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am going to pray for you. Heavenly Father, the sick people, lay your hand on your head, okay? Head or any places. Sickness will happen. Miracle healings are going to happen. Okay. I'm going to pray for you right now. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Hallelujah, Rutha Patakana, Diritu, Lakana, Shicha Chantata, Matakana, Shuta, Shita, Patakana, Jija, Chota, Patakala, Dura, Jaja, the Patakana, Dura, the Lagani, Shicha, Chata, Patakana, Juja, the Matakana, Dura, Chayakana, Chota, Patakana, Shuta, Shata, Hashata, Latu, Lagara, Hicha, Patakala, Tuta, Tachicha, Jeta, the Patakana, the Rati, the Gri, Hata, the Matakana, Shicha, Chata, Kala, Tura, the Patakana, the Gri, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for everybody, especially the people are watching online, Father. They are having the depression and anxiety. The name of Jesus Christ cast out the anxiety and depression from their heart right now. The people are doing something for you right now, Father. Thank you for your word of God. They are going to receive the glory when the time of you are coming to this earth. You are going to glorify them. Thank you for your word of God, Father. The people, those who are doing your word of God, if they are facing any of the rejections, prosecutions, Father, thank you for you are being with them in these days, in this famine time. Father, give an experience to all the people, those who are witnessing your name, Father. Yes. Yes. The people are witnessing Jesus Christ's name. Be with them, Father. Thank you for you are going and be with them. Thank you for you are giving an extraordinary result to get in your spirit, in their spirit. Father, in this 2020, let everybody in all the areas of their life, those who are having desire, let them, let them flourish in all their areas, Father. All the spiritual ways, physical ways, financial ways. Neck pain go out right now. Tumor disappear right now. Anxiety go out right now. Autism disease go out right now. Mental disturbance in the name of Jesus Christ I cast out. Allergic disease in the name of Jesus Christ I cast out. Accident the people are have the people uh, were having the one person is having the accident. Let your power move right now. Let him receive his power right now, Father. In Jesus' name. I declare the healing. I declare the healing. I declare the healing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
and every day every day is amazing presence of lord i was preaching something especially for some people i know this days our god some people are getting going to get revelation tonight in the midnight when the time of sleeping you are going to get the dream the revelation from holy spirit please contact to me praise the lord some people are reading the bible you are getting a specific revelation in that bible words some people are going to get uh, you are getting you whenever you are reading the bible you are feeling the tired today onwards you are going to get the motivation to read the bible praise the lord hallelujah we will give clap to god everybody so today see you tomorrow as i said my name is pastor jolly lasser i am the pastor of shaitan nations international ministries we have churches in london and certain in portsmouth we are planting the churches in all the places not only in uk but throughout the nations in the world we are raising ministers church members evangelists prophets pastors we are raising and we are giving ordinations all are welcome those who are having desire please contact to me it doesn't matter wherever you are which country you are which place you are you can contact to me we will give you support we will give you guidance in spiritually we will give you support god bless you please pray for me and i will keep you uh, please keep me in your prayer every day as a pastor then only i will get more power and strength i will also keep uh, keep you in my prayer praise lord hallelujah so see you tomorrow god bless you chali god bless you abundantly sister chali pray for sister laurie mayer okay thank you very much god bless you see you tomorrow at 6:30 okay because every day i am little every day 6:30 6 o'clock little bit early because i want to some more some more in my personal things i want to do little bit more i am going going out and serving the people praise the lord when i come back i want to fresh up i want to come 6 o'clock little bit early 6:30 i will come tomorrow and it's okay 6:30 to uh, uh 7:45 pm okay the 6:30 will be correct time no change okay god bless you see you tomorrow you get time at 6:30 pm god bless you thank you everyone bye